The beginner series is back and we've moved on to Hirschfelden to try a bison hunting strategy that might result in a lot of cash. Now I did do quickly the Hirschfelden kind of tutorial, just how to shoot a roe deer, got the lodge unlocked, but the thing is, bison live way over here. Approximately five and a half kilometers, so we're just going to run it. I did buy some ammo with what money I had, so I've got 27 rounds of 7 mil and I've got... An amazing three rounds of 243 because I did not grab the polymer tip. We've got 20 of those, so the 270 is kind of irrelevant on this map. I mean, it really only would help on wild boar since we have the 7 mil. But yeah, we're just going to run it. We're going to kill anything we can along the way for the money because we kind of need ammo at this point. And yeah, we'll see how we can do. I think we're one, one uh, kill away from the next level. Yeah, we need like 30 XP, so... That'll be nice. Okay, apparently I did it by doing a mission by accident. So we have a perk point, and we do want the long range zeroing just so we have that. We grabbed the short range, I think, last video. There we go. Level three fallow down there eating. Now the wind is kind of bad. It's not the worst, but we're looking at 216 right now. So we'll just slowly work our way into about 150. We have the zeroing now. And we should be pretty good to just send a 243 round towards his spine. If we end up too low, double lung or single lung will be good enough. We'll get some quick kill, but we actually do have consec. I don't remember last video if we should have dropped it, but we do have it. So we aren't going to be missing out on any cash. That is a diamond red fox. I don't have a gun that I can shoot it with, but uh, we know it's here on the map. So... We'll find out later. Now, you'll notice I am running these Zag Tactics. Those of you that have been around the channel know about those. Basically, we really should shoot the mail because he's going to give us more cash. Basically, all you need, if we go into our skills, is 3 out of 3 in track knowledge and less than 1 in spotting knowledge. Less than 2, I guess. 1 or 0 in spotting knowledge will give you the exact weight on tracks, which is why I knew that Red Fox was very large and i know right in that range is diamond 14.71 i think will make it i don't have a diamond red fox on my main account but i i don't know i actually want to get you guys' opinion on that not not that i would be able to do anything as we sneak up here i might as well go over this not that i'd be able to like host for myself at least not easily but would that be cheating by finding it on a different account I wonder what you guys think about that. We're actually going to go ahead and alert this guy. Because when he stands up, we should have a better shot. So I'm just going to scoot around. There we go. And down he goes. So that actually really got me interested in uh, trying to get that thing. I think we have the 223 unlocked. Here's the deal. I, I think I am going to go for it. Maybe next video. Let's actually... Where was that? It's hanging out right in these fields. Just so we have an idea. Um, and the reason is, like, a lot of people... I get questions quite often. Can you get a diamond? When you start, is there a certain level where you have to be to get a diamond? And you can get a diamond from any level. Your first animal in the tutorial, I assume, could probably have a very low chance of actually spawning as a diamond. You'd have to get your consec before you claim it. So, like, your fourth harvest could actually be a diamond because of the consecutive harvest reasons but yeah we'll probably try to get that video maybe i'll do a little beginner series on how to get diamonds as a low level now we do have the color for that one which is going to be nice but yeah that's going to be fun going for that with the 223 wonder if we can get one of them with the 7 mil it's not a high percentage shot with the 243 we definitely hit it i was kind of somewhat looking at the weird glitch we have with the green on the left side of the 7 mil scope there, but anyway, pretty much any hit on a fallow deer from a 7 mil is going to take it down, and just, I know we're going to lose integrity and some quick kill there, but it is more cash that we're getting by shooting nothing as we run over here. Oh, she really did not go anywhere. I don't think we are sacrificing any quick kill. Just integrity, but still 823 cash. Fallow deer are actually decent cash for an animal that travels in such large herds and kind of exists all around the map so it's a good thing to shoot when you get a chance i don't think roe deer are worth very much but again 
any is more than literally zero just trying to run over to where we're going. So that's about 150, actually. Let's just stay where we are. And I can barely see her, so... I'll actually, maybe I have to take this shot while standing just to be able to see over the brush. That should be okay, though. Double lung on a road here is actually fine with the 243, so we'll go for that just because it's a higher percentage shot. And straight down, no issues there. But after I bought the ammo for this hunt, I was sitting on about 200 cash. So we've covered just over two kilometers. 0.3 trophy rating, what? All right, I don't know why it has any. But we've now earned about 3,400 cash just trying to run to where we're going. So that's worth a good chunk of ammo, another like 30 rounds of 7 mil. There we go. Heard a wild boar. Now here's the thing. They don't run that fast. I know we're going to be sacrificing some integrity, but we can probably get two at the least, maybe three of them, if we can just sneak down to that field edge. Because when they're running in that open field, we're going to have room to get a couple of shots off. So we'll take our time. We'll probably just crawl right down to the edge where we can see fine and try to make some money off these. We should actually try to pick out one of the higher level ones. That three, I think, is the highest one. So we're going to go ahead and crouch up here. Actually, you know what? Because we're so close, the 243 would do fine. But then, I don't know what that was. Spine shot on the wild boar is no issue. But the follow-ups are going to have to be 7 mil. So that'll be one, and we might catch another in the other field there. I was kind of hoping they would go... Uh, more that direction, but I realized there with the 243, we can save the integrity bonus, and we got a thousand cash out of that, so I want to actually compare it. Now, I know this one's going to be smaller and a lower scoring one to begin with, but with no integrity, we got 877, so really saving integrity for cash, not that big a deal. Might be able to just get that one. That should be a decent hit, probably in the intestines. And we have a herd of fallow deer. Ooh, decent mail. Now, we're not really going the direction we want to go. I gotta be honest, though, I do think the bison are gonna have to be a second episode. Like, the amount of stuff we're shooting on our way over here, I can't just, like, cut it out. I feel like it's gotta be a part of this series. But another 832 cash from an intestine shot on that. But yeah, I feel like if I were to just kind of show up at the bison area for the start of this video and just be like, all right, we're here, I shot 10,000 cash worth of animals on my way, you guys would probably kind of wonder, like, what the heck happened for those 10,000 cash worth of animals. But anyway, same strategy here. How far is that before we do that? About 100. Uh, but we are going to alert them again, just so the male stands up. Again, the males give better cash, so we always want that when we can get it. Is that a fox? It is. The thing is, we're going to lose... Foxes are going to give better cash, though. We're going to lose integrity. The 243 doesn't give integrity, but we just saw that on the wild boar. It's not that big a difference, and we should be looking at probably 1,100 cash or so for this one. Maybe more. Hopefully I'm right about that anyway. That is 1,237 cash. Certainly more than we would have gotten from the fallow male. Now, I could follow that. One thing we know, animals like to return to the zones they left. We know that zone is right here. So maybe we'll just slowly kind of sneak after them and see if they try to turn around and come back this way. And would you look at that. They're all just headed straight back. If you can see, like, long distance and just sit there and wait, you really only got to wait, I would say, less than a minute. Like, if you can see maybe 250 meters and the animals don't turn around within that, they're not coming back. They're going to move off to a different zone. If they do turn around, they are coming straight back to the zone you spooked them out of, so... Be nice if this rain could shut up. It's driving me insane. But that's a decent angle, actually. Staying back a little bit so we don't have to go through the shoulder. What are you doing? All right. That was really glitchy. Set my gun flying around. And she just kind of stood there but ran off anyway. So not going to take running shots on those, mainly because I'm actually decent on cash right now and I might as well save my ammo while I have it. And uh, also, I just don't want to track because I feel like I'm probably not going to hit them that well. But this should be roughly another 1,000 cash. 1,059 even. 
not bad, but there you can see a fox with a botched integrity bonus. Significantly better cash than a full score fallow male. The wind is really not good for this, but we do another fallow male. There's also a roadier buck here, but I think the fallow male will be worth more. Ooh. I think that's a slightly, yeah, definitely a bigger fallow male. How far is that? That is 170. So it was zero for 150. Unfortunately, he is scooting away right now. So what we need to do is just kind of trail him. We need to gain a little ground. And as soon as he notices us, we got to stop and then catch our heart rate and try to get a shot. Now, he is trying to trot off, but now he knows we're here. Heart rate's actually okay. Fortunately, the trees are going to try to mess with us. There we go. I think we dropped him. He stopped right there. I... The thing is, when they become alert like that, they'll stop like three or four times. And then they just continue on as if nothing happened. So you get a limited amount of stops. He had already stopped once beyond the tree. And the angle was getting worse. He was starting to face away. So we had to go for that aim just a little bit high in the spine. And it certainly seemed to work. In fact, it worked quite well. Just into the spine there. That was 159 meters, so that worked out quite nicely. Those polymer tip bullets, though, they make a huge difference on what kind of shots I'm willing to take. Okay. <laughs> that might be a diamond bison track. That's pushing it. 868 is very much pushing it. The wind sucks for this as well. Now, I somewhat thought we might run into bison as we head over here. And that is certainly the case. But we might have a diamond studded Hirschfeld on our hands. Oh, he was feeding right here as well. Just down over the hill, unfortunately. So I'm sure he just fled. I'm sure one of these will be run. At least I would think so. Is this just now even? There's a run. Okay. Now here's the thing. If he ran this way... The whole premise of this video was the fact that bison like to return to their feed zones. So we're going to really slowly follow him. And if I had to bet, he's going to try to come back here. If he doesn't, he's just going to be in another zone somewhere. He just has to get to it. So that could be a long track, but the hope is he just tries to come right back. So we're using the same basic concept as the fallow deer. I know that I've tracked him a couple hundred meters. I've had zero tracks of him turning around and going back where he came from. And also, I haven't seen him yet. So I pretty much know he's going to try to move off to another zone. So I'm just taking my time. I don't really have the option of moving quickly because the wind is so bad. I kind of just have to move slow and try to catch him in a zone, which is not going to be any easier because the wind doesn't like us. But eventually, if we just keep behind him. We are bound to find him because that's kind of what they do. They just move from zone to zone. When you spot an animal, it does put you on their tracks. So this track turning white means that level four is not the right one. It's really not a bad idea to practice on an animal where you're trying to get a diamond. Especially on something like this, like I haven't shot a bison in forever. If you're in this scenario, like the exact scenario I'm in with this account, I've never shot a bison on this account, so it would be good to take a practice shot. This guy is still chilling at the drink zone. If our bison is at a zone up here, just right in front of us and we can't see him, he might end up coming back anyway. Otherwise, we're very fresh on the tracks. He's getting further and further ahead of us. So it's not a bad idea to just take a practice shot. So we're going to scoot up here so we get a slightly better angle. And just go for his spine. Well, that works just beautifully. So if we can do that on this one, if he is big enough to be a diamond, we should get it out of him. So yeah, if you get the chance and you've never really taken the shot, I really do recommend taking a practice shot. It's not the end of the world. If you do spook it, you'll get another opportunity to get in range. And we have no idea where he is at the moment. He might not have even heard that. So I'm willing to take the risk. It looks like he actually... Headed off this way, so that might have been well worth it. 
But that scenario right there is why I always try to shoot animals with the proper caliber to get integrity because that's just constantly staying practice, constantly staying sharp to make those shots on the big animals. But if you've never shot the species before, or if you're not really sure what shot you need to go for, a practice shot on the fly is not even close to the worst thing you could do. If you're going to spook the animal further, so be it. You'll get another chance. You can track it down. But knowing what shot to go for is so important. So we saw that spine shot work fine. We know the 7 mil is going to be capable of taking it down. So now we just need to get this guy in range and make the shot. There he is right there, and he is a level 5. So we know that he's pretty decent size, and we know which way he's headed. I don't know if I just bumped him out of a zone, so we're going to do the same tactic we did initially. We're going to really slowly follow him for like 100 meters or so. If he hasn't turned back, we're just going to get back to normal tracking, but he might just try to come right back down here. So I've hung back here just in case he decided to come back, and he is coming back. Now, here's the thing. Bison are a unique animal in that when you alert them, they actually turn towards you. They don't stop like we've done with like the fallow and stuff earlier. So unless he stops organically, we kind of got to hit him either on the hop or maybe something will happen. But that angle is not that bad. We could get into the top of the spine. The thing is with the 7 mil, it's not fantastic penetration, but we could do it. With him facing us, that's not going to work. And this is the biggest thing, guys. You gotta be patient. We know he's trying to get back to this zone. There's no reason to rush this shot. If we just hang out, he is going to try to get back here. We just got to wait for the right angle and kind of just keep scooting up this hill. We know which way he's trying to go, so we got to get broadside to that. That's pretty broadside there. Unfortunately, like I said, he's not going to stop, so we got to hit him on the hop here. And just like that, a level 5 bison has hit the ground. Now, those of you that are new to the game, one of the things that we always recommend when you drop a large animal is to do a can check. What that is, is make sure your consecutive harvest bonus is good. Sometimes if you shoot an animal that you haven't claimed during the hunt, your consecutive harvest bonus will fall off. Sometimes it falls off for what seems like absolutely no reason at all. So we are going to go find one animal, shoot it, make sure our consecutive harvest bonus is up and then go and claim that guy if he is, in fact, a diamond. We'll get it. Finally. Perhaps the most agonizing part of killing a large animal is trying to find something to do a can check. I'm telling you guys, though, it is worth it. It has saved me on, I would say, at least half a dozen diamonds by now on my main account where I shoot an animal. I go and see if I have consecutive harvest, and if I don't, then I go and get it before I claim whatever the large animal was. So I was actually looking at the spreadsheet. If you're wondering what that is, in our Discord, if you want to join that, link is below. We have a community-made spreadsheet that basically tells you everything you need to know about diamonds. And 868 is exactly the weight for a diamond bison. Now, it can vary with the trophy rating, so he could be just above diamond or just below. By the way, if you didn't see it in a previous video, when you go to do a can check, you're kind of going all over the place, and if you didn't mark your kill, the center of the hunting pressure is where you shot it. So I was just able to mark that. And we've got our bison down right here in a pretty unflattering spot for a picture, so... We're going to do this right here, and we shall see. Do we have our first diamond of the beginner series? We do. 959. He's high trophy rating for that weight. He is almost 869, so I somewhat thought he could have a chance of being big, but we have our first diamond as, I think, a level 12 player. We leveled up on that kill. So if that answers your question, those of you that have asked, do you have to be a high level to get a diamond? No, not at all. Now, here's the thing. I would end the video here, but I got to run all the way down here to the outpost, or this whole run basically means nothing, and I got to do it over again. But I think we are actually going to wrap this video up. I'm going to run over there. I'm going to get the outpost unlocked. I'm not going to shoot anything along my way. We're just going to have that outpost unlocked for the video where I'm just trying to grind cash by shooting bison but remember we had that potential diamond fox track earlier what i want to know from you guys is should we spend the money and buy the 223 and try to go get the diamond fox or should we forget about it for now 
and go back at a later date. The reason I ask is because I would never recommend getting the 223 after the 7 mil. You don't need it yet. You should really keep trying to grind cash and get maybe the shotgun first if you want to do some geese or duck hunting in multiplayer. Other than that, the 223 is pretty okay. So that's why I'm all right with grabbing it and going after that fox if that's what you guys want to see. But I'm going to put a pull up. It's probably going to be tomorrow. I don't want to have any spoilers in this video uh, or of this video from that pull. So that'll be up. You guys can vote on that. And we shall see what we're going to do about that fox. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the track of that diamond or anything I did in particular. If you want to know any clarification on that. But anyway, thank you once again. And I will see you next time.